I can hear, just hear the mentally sick people, whack job Antifa women, saying that he posted he was purpose and happy, and the next one he's angry. He's bipolar, he's bipolar. No nutty, hateful, whack job women. You see, Dr. Eric Ritterhoff in Filthy Quad Cities diagnosed boys bipolar, and the next thing you know, he'd be taking them to restaurants. I don't know, his wife got arrested a while back. She's a sick woman. Um, also, look, you've stolen my money. You abused me in Glendale. You meaning filthy, sick, mentally sick, whack job, Antifa Democrats, and sick, mentally sick federal judges, the hateful Department of Justice, corrupt, filthy. You know, I, I don't have much to say about Trump anymore because he could fix this right now. He is the president of the United States. Now, I, I, like I said all along, there are some unofficial people helping me, and I don't want to be disrespectful to them right now. That's the hardest part. And there's some women working very hard in that group too and so I feel really bad when I speak poorly of women especially when sorry gays I don't even think I'm gay and that's probably very evident to everyone here because I can't even seem to practice it if I want to I was molested as a kid and then in the Quad Cities I was sucked into the Boom Fox group disgusted with the sick, filthy Quad Cities, and I never should have gotten on Facebook and seen your ugly faces. Doug Williams, you're a puke. You're a dirty cop. There's a whole bunch like you all over. You're too old to be a dirty cop. You got to turn into a fat old drunk, Doug. Fat old drunk, dirty cop. Act right and admit what you and Rusk know. Put Jerry and Sherry in prison and let's put an end to this nonsense. I've suffered enough, Williams. Act right. Obviously, you never were in the military. You're a disgrace to your country, and so is Rusk.